Using animations for showcasing product features and functionality can create powerful effects. It's useful for any stage of the production, from concept development to the final prototype. In this tutorial we will go over four possible animations that you can learn and start using. Group animations. Light animation. Floating animation. Pulse animation combined with a material switcher. Let's get going. First tip. Animating groups instead of separate objects has many advantages. It is possible to add or remove objects from any group. This gives you flexibility to change the concept anytime, because the added objects will be automatically animated. The parent animation or transformation will not override the animations in the groups below. Let's start with light animations. Open the Animate tab and give it a name. Scale the timeline and set the animation length to 30 seconds. Change the position of the playhead and select the group with lights. There are two ways to do this. First, create a keyframe by manually rotating the gizmo. Second, write the exact values in the transformation settings located in the Properties menu. This keyframe will have a 180 degrees transformation setting. Press Enter to create a keyframe. Now, move the playhead to the end of the animation and write 360. Set easing for all keyframes to linear and animation on repeat. Play the animation to see if it works as intended. Next, open the Interact tab. Add a new interaction and rename it. This is an idle animation and should start when we load the project. Make sure the trigger is set to Unload. Add the lights animation. Review it in the preview mode. Next on the list is the floating animation. In 3D, this can create a subtle yet interesting sense of movement in a scene. It draws the viewer's attention and adds an extra layer of visual interest. First, add a new animation and name it. Select the group and reposition the playhead. Create a keyframe by adjusting the rotation and the position. Make sure easing is set to auto and animation is set to ping pong. Open the interact mode and select idle interaction. From the drop down menu, choose floating animation. Both animations will start playing when the project is loaded. Next section comes in two parts. It deals with a specific interaction triggering two actions, a material switcher and a pulse animation at the same time. In the first step we will create a material switcher for the metallic part of the bottle. A material switcher is a handy tool, because it helps to quickly and easily change between different materials. It shows options for feedback, approvals or even as a final project for a website. First, the object must already have several different materials selected. You can easily add new materials by clicking the plus icon in the materials menu. To remove it, press the minus icon. Open the interact mode, add a new interaction and name it. Set the trigger on click. Choose a target by selecting it from the scene or use the eyedropper tool. 
Add a new action and choose the object that the material switcher applies to. Check the results in preview mode. Next step is to add a pulse animation. It will be applied every time we click on the bottle to change the material. Open the Animate tab and add a new animation. This one will be short and quick, so shorten the animation length. Move the playhead and select the group from the project menu. Slightly scale it. Then, copy the first keyframe and paste it near the end of the animation. This will return the object to the original scale. Preview the animation. Open the Interact tab. Add a new action to the Material Switcher interaction. Choose Pulse Animation. This means that when the object is clicked, two actions will automatically occur. Change of Material and Pulse Animation. With the right project organization, as we mentioned in the beginning, it is easy to change the rotation, scale, and position without affecting the animations. It is ready to be shared. Enable sharing in the top right corner. When the project is synced, copy the link and send it to any device. Developing and sharing 3D projects with your teams or clients is a great way to collaborate and get things done faster. Thank you for watching.